create an estimate. The first thing you're going to want to do is um, on the main screen is create a new estimate. Click this button right here and this job info form will pop up. Uh, fill out the customer name, their address, their city, their phone number, email address, where this job was referred from, um, and the job name. The estimating methods up at the top, we're going to choose which one we're going to use. Uh, by item is also used for production rates. By day and time or material are your other two options. We're going to stay with by item. We'll choose the people who are going to be working on a job. The boss, which is you, and your two employees. Um, you can change the, com the, the profit for this job by simply up or down arrow. Uh, we'll leave it at 10%. And once you're done finish, finish filling this out, go ahead and click Save and Continue. And it brings us to this, this screen right here. Uh, I'm just going to give you a few examples. I'm not going to go through to, to do a whole estimate, but just so you get a general idea. Um, the area that we're going to be working on is, is a stucco. So simply just type in stucco prep here. Um, there's not much to this, so this, it should take just one day for one guy to run around and do the patching and trenching and whatever else needs to be done. Not much materials involved, just maybe a bag of stucco patch. Um, and as you see, as you just move along, the price will get adjusted over here. The next method, make sure you got the production rates box turned on to use that method. Just simply click that button and the form will pop up. Um, we're going to go ahead and choose stucco, brush and roll. From our measurements, we have 2,200 square feet. And we're going to put two coats on this. Um, <coughs> there'll be another, another video on how to actually record rates, so you'll get an idea of how this works. Um, anyway, so we, we have 2,200 square feet, two coats. You can select the finished product from when you recorded this in the past. We're going to stay with Regal Select Flat. Um, if, if we went to Aura Flat, you'll see the price gets adjusted. Um, but we're going to stay with the Regal Select Flat. Aura is kind of overkill for stucco in my opinion. Um, the picture here is just a sort of a reference that what we're estimating on now is something similar to when we recorded this rate. Um, to view a larger of this picture, just go ahead and double click it and it kind of tells you when it was recorded, where it was recorded from. Um, anyway, so after you get done filling this part out, we're going to go ahead and click the Add button and we're going to give a title for this, Paint Stucco. Once you're done with this, go ahead and click Finish and it adds it to this row right here. Anyway, so just keep doing that for all your items, windows. Um, if I could spell here, windows, paint, two days, three guys. Um, if you want to use a material form, uh, exterior products, we're going to use Aura Semi-Gloss and it's going to take two gallons. Uh, add, <coughs> and it adds it to this grid right here. Once you're finished, just click Save and Exit, and the materials gets adjusted. Um, anyways, that's pretty much how to do the item method. Uh, the day method is pretty much the same. Um, <coughs> choose your day prep and start painting stucco materials I don't know say 200 um, as you see as you just it's really easy to just keep going and, and moving along here as things will get this, this number just gets adjusted um, but we're not using a day method but you can use both methods a day and item method at the same time and at the end of you filling out the estimate you can decide which one kind of makes more you're more comfortable with uh, but we'll go back to the item method 
and once you're finished filling out all this all the the details for your estimate just go ahead and well you don't have to click this yet I mean, you can do this when you actually send the proposal to the customer but down here kind of just gives you some some numbers um, other than that that's pretty much it I think it's pretty self-explanatory um, so we're pretty much ready to, to build a proposal.